quality floor covering touchdown. There's, well, he had a hole, and then he ran over towards the middle of the field. So they're going, the Milford Redskins will take over around the 33-yard line. Tackled by 23, Dave Edwards. Redskins take over first. <laughs> Presley breaks through for about 12 yards, giving the Redskins their 12th first down, as the Lions, to my recollection, only have two first downs, but they do have four long touchdown runs. Presley is going to be taken down along the line of scrimmage. The ball came loose and the Lions have recovered at around the 40 yard line of the Redskins. South line brought a nice crowd over tonight. They're having some fun with it now. It was a tight game for most of the first half. But the wheel's starting to come off the Redskins here. There really hasn't been that many turnovers, or but there was a lot of penalties. That stymied him a little bit. 6.47 left in the third quarter. The Lions leading 28 to seven. Besides Sarah's quality floor covering, this game is being brought to you also by J&B Vac in downtown South Lyon. Be looking for their grand opening September 15th at JMB Vec. Stop by 36, Matt Dickey. Carrying that one is Jamie Champ for about eight yards, seven yards maybe. Jamie Champ on that one. So it will be. Third down for the Lions. Third down and about three for the Lions. Passes away. Just out of the reach. of Ryan Jones, who has come into the game. Ryan Jones has been, he was injured last week early in the game, and this was his first opportunity to come in and play here. He had a slight concussion and uh, that took him out last week. Was this Gasparilla's throw was just out of his reach. So it makes it fourth down. And the Lions are going to call a timeout. Fourth down, about three. The Lions are going to go for it. Penalty marker on the play. As we have some confusion. And I think it'll be against the Lions to knock them back five yards. As the... Cadence of Gasparella drew Redskins offside, so that gave the Lions a first down. Ricky Gates with it. Ricky Gates is going to break one. Ricky Gates gets a varsity touchdown. Number 40 takes that one in 29 yards for the touchdown. As that was a J and B vacuum touchdown. And the Lions again short on first downs, but long on touchdowns. Ah. 
So Gasparella gets set to kick the extra point. And he drives it through. And the Lions lead 35 to seven with 5-10 left in the third quarter. You never would have thought it to start of the game when it was into the second quarter and, and nothing, nothing. And then all of a sudden the gates were opened. Brought down around the 26 yard line is. In on that was number 27. As well as Champ was in there. So, Redskins start out on offense. And JB back again, happy to bring you this action. They have all styles of bags available there for your vacuum and of course they can repair and can loan you one if so needed at J&B Vac in downtown South Lyon. Presley gets about three and this action also being brought to you by Gloria's Fine Home Cooking in downtown Whitmore Lake. It's affordable home cooking. A lot of the, uh, the specials for instance are less than five dollars and Everything's home cooked at Gloria's. Now they're only open for breakfast and lunch at Gloria's Fine Home Cooking, and that's on Jennings Road off of Main Street in Whitmore Lake. Gloria's. Presley will get a, a yard or so. And we have 4.15 and counting now in this third quarter. 35 to seven, the Lions lead. That by number 85, Stu Lightly. Oh. Ball came loose and the Lions are all over it. Jamie Champ is the one to curl up over it as the big hit takes it to the 48 where the Lions are on offense again. Be nowhere on that one for the Lions. So it's second and ten. <laughs> Getting about four yards on on that carry was Edwards. So it'll make it third down. Third and about seven. And so. Third and about six for the Lions. It is third down for the Lions, leading by 28 points with 6.25 left in glorious fine home cooking third quarter. And Sherman was the one on that one. It will be fourth down, so the Lions are probably going to punt here. They didn't move it too well again on this possession anyways. Six for the Lions on the Milford 45-yard line. Back to punt is Tony Kern. He's already at a 54-yarder in this game. Going to bounce down to around the five. Is that one's good for about 40 yards. 
Redskins take over first and ten. Presley's taking down along the about the six yard line will be makes it second down. As besides glorious fine home cooking, we have Century World Travel bringing you this action in the Brookdale Plaza. You know, you can have all your problems taken care of on your travel needs. Just let Carol A.R. take care of that at Century World Travel, 437-6255. She'll find the best deal going for you in her searching at Century World Travel. But again, along the line of scrimmage, the Lions take him down and it makes it third and 10 with 40 seconds left in this third quarter. Up a third and 10 for the Redskins. Down he goes in the end zone. That becomes a safety. And that'll be two points for the defense. Two points for South Lions. As he tried scrambling out of there, but he was swarmed under. That becomes two points for the Lions with one second left in the third quarter. They'll be receiving a punt or kickoff from the Redskins. We'll call that a Century World Travel two-pointer. Steve Wagner with it. And that'll be the final play of the third quarter and they'll change direction, but the ball is practically right where it's gonna be at the 50 yard line. South line fence, Sarah's quality floor covering, J&B vacuum, Gloria's fine home cooking and Century World Travel. Oops, the ball comes loose. Bubble. And it looks like the Redskins have it around the 48-yard line of the Lions. Getting about eight yards in there. Seven, was Leclerc, the, the quarterback, number seven. Got by Kern. Picked up about eight for the Redskins. Makes it second down for the Redskins here. This fourth quarter being brought to you by James J. Carey, CPA. It'll save you more money than if you tried to do taxes yourself. He'll save you more money than it would cost to have him do the service. James J. Carey, CPA, 437-2000. As Presley breaks it to the 30-yard line, he's a sophomore for the Redskins. He's already run a long one for a touchdown and probably has close to 180 yards in uh, rushing this game.
quarterback keeps the ball, gets about five. Tripped up by 21, Kevin Hammer. Chase down in there by Matt Williams. Bringing him down in the backfield. Makes it third down for the Redskins. Milford trying to get their second touchdown of the game, trailing 37 to seven with 9.42 and counting here in this fourth quarter. We'll be looking to call our toughy tough guy of the game here. Ball hit the ground, quarterback picks it up, and then I think he dropped it again. LeClaire. Two fumbles on one play, and the Lions get it. Lions. Might have been Lewis in on that one. I didn't catch for sure which one it was. But the Lions do have it Lions, at around the 20-yard line. Yard line. At the 25-yard line. Bunch of new Lions in there. Grinding out a couple yards in there. Was Edwards, number 23. Is this game being brought to you by James G. Carey, CPA, 437-2000 for all your CPA needs? And by CCA, located in Brookdale. Mike Caldwell, Paul Malak can help you out with your computer needs. As they are your network consultants of the internet. Looks like the Lions are going to be punting it back to the Redskins now. So it'll be fourth and long from inside their territory there. As next week, the Lions will be playing Novi Wildcats at home. That'll be the second of their four home, four home games this year, so you might want to get out there. Brighton defeated Novi last night, 40 to nothing. As Pinckney also went to 2-0 in the conference, beating Heartland 18-6. And that punt's taken down to around the 45. Matthews takes that punt. There are a couple penalty flags. Well, we had a roughing the, roughing the kicker and then a foul against a late hit against the Lions it becomes a first down for the Lions so uh, but back further than they were so we got the clock running now with 640 as we will attempt to go down to the field and get a couple of interviews after the uh, game with the team That second down takes it to around the line of scrimmage. As again, we have this action being brought to you by CCA located in Brookdale Plaza. 
Next to Fortuna Inn, your internet engineers are at CCA. And also New Hudson Mobile Home Parts in downtown New Hudson for all your parts for your trailers and mobile homes. Breaking through for a nice carry. It's going to be short of the first down, but it was a nice run, run by Scott Bell. So he got about 15 yards on that carry. It's going to make it fourth down for the Lions, and they're going to be about two yards short of a first down. Well, let's take that back. It will be enough for the first down. And evidently there was a personal foul on that. So it gives the Lions a first down up to the 44 yard line. Five minutes left. As we have the running clock now with 30 point lead. Well, it's second down 13. Four minutes left in this action being brought by New Hudson Mobile Home Parts and your Conseco Medical Insurance. S Scott Bell's running hard. Scott Bell is to the 10, to the close to the five yard line. As he broke that one for about 45 yards. Zim finally made the stop for Milford. Tied right around the five yard line. Your Conseco Medical Insurance can be reached locally at 437-3246. Even on weekends, you may call there, 437-3246 for your medical insurance needs. Certainly, at least get a quote. Sherman on the carry. Sherman on that carry, as we have 318 and counting. Boudreaux. comes loose. What are they going to say? I guess you can't fumble it into the end zone. I don't know. Maybe he's already down. So it makes it third down. And he's in for the touchdown. I did not. Yeah, there was Scott Bell's touchdown. And that was a Conseco Medical Insurance touchdown. 42 Mike Axel, that injured Silver Flair. Kick is driven up and through. And the Lions lead 44 to seven. With 2.23 left in the game. As this is also being brought to you by the Jim Day Andy Car Wash, located behind the Clark Gas Station, where your self-serve car wash needs and eight vacuums, as well as the shampooer for your upholstery and carpentry. And the fragrance machine and more at the Jim Day Andy Car Wash in South Lyon. And also being brought to you by Donner Signs at 437-0025 for all your signage needs and video needs at Donner Signs. The Donners will design the sign to your specs 
437-0025. Want to remind folks also that uh, Depot Days is going on and Sunday, as you're watching this replay, the Depot Days down at McCaddy Park is finishing up from one o'clock to five o'clock and it has all your free games and so forth for the children to participate in and some of them are the old time games as it's old fashioned days at Depot Days in McCaddy Park. The 20th annual Depot Days. Boy, it was hit hard there by number 85 for the Lions. That would be Stu Utley. There was a penalty called in there as well. Claire, the quarterback, keeping that one as time is ticking down now. Robertson, pick up of about four. Steve Wegener. Presley again up the middle. As the Redskins send in their first stringer at uh, the end of the game here. Stop by number 38. Pat Duncan. And he's going to be taken down around the five as the time runs out as the Lions have defeated the Milford Redskins 44 to 7. Hopeful of being able to get out of the field, but actually the team went off into the dark uh, because the Milford Redskins requested that no fans or people be out on the field. So uh, we didn't get a chance to catch up to them, so there will be no interviews tonight. We would kind of like to have done a couple, but... Uh, Oh, well, that's the way it goes. Uh, run over some of the scoring plays, though. In the first quarter, there was no scoring at all. And Milford Redskins were hanging in there strongly. And then in the second quarter, things started to happen. Uh, Jordan Robertson ran one for 64 yards and a touchdown. Within a play or two after that, the Milford Redskins countered with Presley running 62 yards for a touchdown to tie the game. And then we had Gasparella going around in 63 yards for the Lions. And Jordan Robertson got a 28 yarder also for a touchdown. So that made it 28 to seven at halftime. Jordan Robertson proceeded to get a 68 yarder in the third quarter and that really broke it open. And then uh, Ricky Gates got a 29 yard touchdown run. The Lions managed to pull off a safety uh, also on defense there. And then it was finished off after Scott Bell had run a 45-yard uh, uh, nice run to get it close to the touchdown. He managed to get a two-yard touchdown run himself. That ended the scoring with the Lions winning this one 44-7. And our toughy-tough guy of the week.